show on the Crescent News. Thank you, ladies. We really appreciate the shout out. Of course, I am Tim McDonough. I am joined by my esteemed colleague, Chuck Martinez Brandon. We're here for week five of the high school football season. It's going fast, Chuck. Yep. It's crazy. Yep. All right. Let's jump right into the topics. What do we got? Topic number one. The first one, Tim. What's more shocking, the Defiance High School defense giving up 70 points to OG or the smackdown that Patrick Henry laid on county rival Liberty Center? Wow. 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 I think (laughs) I watched OG run around, over, and through Defiance last week. I don't think a Jerry Beauty team has ever given up 70 points in all the time that he's been here. That, to me, was unbelievable. But when I got back to the office and I saw the final score of that Patrick County Liberty <laughs> Center game, I'm, I go in there thinking, oh my gosh, you know, they played those two tight games last year. This should be a great game. And Patrick Henry wins yeah. by 40. I, yeah. I, I, I'm more shocked by that, I think. Yeah, I think so, too. Usually that those Patrick Henry LC games are just, those are knockdown, drag out, back alley fights. And usually they're really close. So that one really surprised me, too. But I don't know, Beauty's defense giving up 70 is something else, too. Yeah. All right, Chuck. Nearing the halfway point of the season. Yep. Who do you think are the best teams in the Defiant Six County area? Well, we just talked about it. Patrick Henry, I'm going to go over there and get some water and bring it back, hand out to some of the kids later <laughs> on. I don't know what they got in the water or those guys just reload. So PH, I think, is one of the bigger ones. And uh, we saw it up close and personal last week down in Paulton County. I think in the GMC, Wayne Trace uh, has a real good shot of winning that league, too. Who do you got? Well, I think, uh, you know, you just have to look at Brian in the NWOL. I think it probably is now going to come down to them and Patrick Henry. Brian has just been chewing up people. Their offense has been impressive in their defense. I think they're giving up, what, eight points a game? Yeah. They're, they're getting it done on both sides of the football. And Napoleon beating Southview last week, yeah. who had won, what, five or six straight NL championships? Yep. Those guys getting that win was humongous. They're, they're 3-0-1, that tie with yeah. Kettering Alder. That, they're, <laughs> they're really good, too. I like those two teams. Yep. All right. Let's go on to the third one. Who you got, Timmy? Tenora or Hicksville? Tenora or Hicksville. <laughs> I, I, I know a lot. these teams both lost a lot of good players from last year. But the game's at Hicksville. I, I like what Lucas Smith is doing. You know, they, they took their lumps early, but they bounced back. I'm going to go with the defending champs. I'm taking the aces. Who you got, Chuck? Well, I don't know. It's going to be a game, I think, decided by the run game. They both have really good running backs. Uh, saw Hicksville on some film this week, and they look real good. But I don't know. I, I think Tenora's riding pretty high. Kenny Krause just got his 100th win last week. I'll go with the Rambos. Wow. So, look at you picking a GMC game. How about <laughs> that? Well, it doesn't include airs well, so right. it makes perfect sense. No hiding me. for me, man. <laughs> All right, our whopper hit of the week comes to us from the Patrick Henry Liberty Center game. We see Galen Powers taking a swing pass, run to the sideline, and absolutely running over Josh Drain of Liberty Center. You don't see it often, uh, an offensive player getting the hit of the week, but that's what we got here this week. Time for the power aid, power play of the game, plays of the game, yep. Chuck. Here we go. Well, we're going to see it. It's the Galen Power Show. There he goes. Pick six for six, baby. They're taking it the distance, picking off a pass. Josh Drain, sorry about that. That was two plays he got you on. But that uh, that helped put uh, uh, Patrick Henry in control of that game against Liberty Center. And then here's another one. Got Jake Carrizales. Scoop and score, baby. Taking it to the house. But hand the ball to the official young man. Don't throw it to him. <laughs> Threw it right over his head. <laughs> Look at the referee put his hands on and went, well, yep. what about yeah. that? There you got to be careful. Some officials don't appreciate that kind there of stuff. There it goes. Now, I mean, here it is in slow motion again, Chuck. I mean, he's like, uh. Yep, whoops. That's why he's a lineman and not a quarterback. Oh, the super slow mo. Spend the weight room too much, sort of broke out the gun <laughs> that, That's, that that's very good camera work, though. I mean, that's right. we got to give a shout-out to Ethan, Ethan for that. Yeah. Nice job. Okay, now how about this? <laughs> we, got the, we, got, we got a shout-out to the Patrick Henry tuba players just spinning around. Obviously, it must have been after a score. They're doing their that's, thing. That's You know, I've yeah. heard of dueling banjos, and I've heard of dot in the eye, but I've never seen that before. That's all. Hey, just for fun, <laughs> let's do it fast. <laughs> There they go, spinning, spinning away. Attaboy. <laughs> Too much fun at Patrick Henry. I hope this those weekend. were marching tubas because if they had the big ones, they might not have been standing. <laughs> well, that's all we have for you for <laughs> week five of the Tim and Chuck show. Please come back and, and check us out next week for week six. We'll have some more fun for you. We'll be here. Anything you'd like to uh, say on the way out, Chuck? No. All right. <laughs> See you next week.